you are a fan of Arduino, please skip this video because in this video, I'm going to give nine reasons to beginners why not to start their journey with Arduino. I know Arduino is good for several reasons, but in this video, we are going to see what is so bad about Arduino. Why learning Arduino is poison for beginners. If you are considering starting to work with Arduino, be sure to watch this video first. In plenty of sources, the Arduino platform is introduced as the best option to start learning electronics and microcontrollers. But this is not true. Actually, I think it's the worst option. You ask me why, I'm gonna answer. This is an Arduino board. If you look attentively, there's a microcontroller I see here. In this video, I'm trying to give you some reasons why you have to avoid learning Arduino before learning a pure microcontroller like this. Arduino is a platform, mostly a software-based platform that makes programming using and interfacing modules easier. It seems awesome and actually it's awesome, but not for beginners. Arduino is a fantastic platform for prototyping, but it's painful for beginners. Let me give you the first reason. Reason number one, you will be trapped. Most of the beginners start learning microcontrollers from Arduino, assuming that they will start learning microcontrollers someday after mastering Arduino, but most of them never do that. Actually, they try to learn microcontrollers directly, but they can't because they have gotten used to the ease of working with Arduino. Arduino is a plug and play device. You only need to connect the USB cable and then everything is ready to start your journey. Someone who got used to the simplicity of Arduino will resist learning tools like these programmers to program a chip directly. If you have no experience with microcontrollers yet and you are going to start learning Arduino, you have to forget about learning other microcontrollers. Don't blame me for occasional rare cases. It's better to start with a microcontroller directly no matter which one. And then after mastering that, you can easily learn Arduino. Anyway, let's move on to the next reason. Reason number two, you can't be a pioneer. You will always rely on the online library. Suppose that a new module came onto the market and you need to interface the module and use it in your project. If you know how to read the data sheet and write codes for your module, you will be self-sufficient and you will do the project without any problem. It's very awesome. But if you used to import Arduino libraries, you can't do it until someone writes a library for that. And then you are one of millions of ordinary people that can import and use the same library uh, to interface the module. I know the library writing skills has nothing to do with the platform and Arduino users can read the data sheet and write libraries, but let me be honest. How many Arduino users you know that write libraries? If you know someone, is he or she started programming with Arduino? I don't think so. The Arduino platform keeps its users as library consumers. Anyway, let's move on to the next reason. Reason number three, surface knowledge. While Arduino abstracts away many complexities, it may limit understanding of how things work at a deeper level. A deeper understanding can empower you to tackle more complex projects and troubleshoot issues effectively. If you learn Arduino first, you will gain surface knowledge of electronics. Look at this Arduino Uno board. There are plenty of components on the board like capacitors, resistors, and other ICs. All of these are used for a specific reason. Most of Arduino fans are not aware of the purpose of these components. But if you learn microcontrollers first, you will face some problems and to solve them, you will be forced to dig deeper into the concepts. Noise is one of hundreds of examples. Many Arduino fans have no clear picture of noise in their minds. Sometimes I even came across cases where people believe they are master of electronics, but they don't have a clear understanding of voltage or current. So it's much better to learn a real microcontroller before learning Arduino. Anyway, let's turn our attention to the next reason. Reason number four, full control. 
programming level on the Arduino platform is very high, meaning that you will lose many low-level controls to the microcontroller by using the Arduino platform. I mean, you don't have enough control over the hardware compared to what we have with microcontrollers. I know it's possible to write assembly instructions in the Arduino IDE, but how many Arduino users do you know that write assembly codes? If you know someone who is writing assembly codes in Arduino projects, has he or she started programming with Arduino? They are very rare cases. Also, using high-level programming platforms can significantly reduce the performance of the target devices because of some technical reasons. Yes, the next reason is reason number five, performance. Lack of full control is not the only drawback of an abstraction. Another drawback is low performance. Arduino abstracts away many low-level details to simplify programming, but it can limit performance optimization. Highly abstracted programming languages like what we have in Arduino platform prioritize ease of coding over performance. For example, a function written in the Arduino IDE may execute slower than the same code written in a standard C++ compiler. Mastering microcontrollers directly enables you to write highly optimized code tailored to the specific hardware, maximizing performance. This feature makes Arduino less suitable for real-time systems where high processing capabilities are required. Anyway, our next reason is reason number six, flexibility. Arduino is a platform and it can be implemented on different microcontroller families and chips, right? But most of Arduino fans are using the platform on default boards like Mini, Micro, Uno, Mega, whatever. On the other hand, the Arduino platform is not available on every microcontroller chip and it supports a limited number of chips. Learning microcontrollers directly opens up opportunities to work with a broader range of devices such as PICs, AVRs, ARM, Haltech, etc. Even though each of these families has a different IDE and architecture, mastering one of them will make mastering another family a piece of cake for you and this will give you the flexibility to select the best suited device based on your project requirements. For example, you will be able to choose a specific microcontroller chip to achieve a specific goal. Let me explain the reason number seven, power consumption. You can search for and find a specific microcontroller and use it in your project to achieve a specific goal. For example, some Haltech microcontrollers have a very low power consumption. You can use them in your project because you are not limited to Arduino boards. The next reason is very important. Reason number eight, stability and cost. If you are prototyping, that's okay, go ahead and use Arduino boards. But if you are going to make a large scale production, you may reconsider using Arduino platform because of its overheads and limitations. While Arduino is excellent for prototyping and hobby projects, generally it is not suitable for mass production due to factors like cost, size, and performance limitations. Learning microcontrollers directly allows you to design and implement your own circuit using minimal components, reducing cost for mass production or specific applications. Next in line, we will dive into making money. Reason number nine, career opportunities. While Arduino skills are valuable for hobbyists, mastering microcontrollers directly opens up a broader range of career opportunities for you. Many industries require expertise in microcontrollers beyond the Arduino environment. Mastering microcontrollers directly enhance your skills and make you more competitive in these sectors. In short, you will get a better job and make more money if you learn microcontrollers directly. Anyway, we have reached the final moments of this video. Thanks for watching. If this video has brought value to you, please show your appreciation by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you next time.